Well, welcome to the Friday edition of uh, our daily visit with God. And today we're going to be in Job in chapter 26. I want to read verses 1 through 4. Here's a really interesting passage. So Job's friends, he says, are miserable, miserable comforters or counselors. So I think what he's going to do in this passage of Scripture, he's going to teach us something about how to offer godly counsel. So um, it's going to be a shorter devotion, but this is one of those passages uh, one of the, that I think we ought to spend a pretty good deal of time, especially those of us who do try to be a counselor, try to offer comfort, try to come alongside some, somebody and give them direction and guidance and help. Uh, maybe, we, maybe this passage of scripture could really be a, 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 a basis for really a course on godly counsel. So listen to the passage. It's Job 26 verses 1 through 4. Job answered and said, How hast thou helped him that is without power? How savest thou the arm that hath no strength? How hast thou counseled him that hath no wisdom? And how hast thou plentifully declared the thing as it is? To whom hast thou uttered words, and whose spirit came from thee? So the Bible tells us, doesn't it, to try the spirits, whether they be of God. And Job, I think, is doing that very thing in this passage of Scripture. Bildad, his friend, has offered him some counsel. And uh, I know we've heard him say in other places that you're uttering fa to the, his friends, they're uttering falsehoods, they're miserable counselors, those kinds of things. And here he says this. He says, um, uh, I'm trying, basically, uh, I'm reading into it a little bit. I'm, I'm, uh, and he's, uh, he's saying, I'm trying the spirits. And he just says to, to Bildad, the end of verse four, whose spirit came from thee? What spirit is coming out of you? Where, where, what spirit is giving you these things that you're saying? And it obviously wasn't God's spirit. So notice Job uh, urges Bildad to consider several things uh, in his counsel. He says, these are the things you should consider. Number one, have you helped? How hast thou helped? Have you helped? Is your counsel, is your comfort, is it really a help? If you can't give, if the counsel you give can't help, don't give counsel. If you can't, if the words that you're going to speak won't be a comfort, don't, don't speak the words. Number two, how hast thou saved the arm? So what have you done to strengthen that person? What have you done uh, to bless that person? What have you done to set them on a right course or to pick them up after they've fallen? Number three, how hast thou counseled, all right? Just take, consider where your counsel comes from and how you've done it and uh, the model that you've used. And is it biblical or is it worldly or is it, uh, you know, uh, you know, a, a mixture of the two where they call it Bible counseling, but really it's just uh, uh, using worldly counsel and putting Bible names to it or something like that. How hast thou counseled? Uh, how hast thou plentifully declared the thing that is? Uh uh, is your word fact? Uh, is your word reality with the word of God and um, and with the with actual circumstances? Do you really know what you're talking about? Number uh, the next one: To whom hast thou uttered words? All right, have you considered the person that you're speak to whom you're speaking? Have you uh, have you uh, um, evaluated and spent time to pray and to consider and to find out really what's going on in their life. And then the final one, whose spirit came from thee? Have, Job is trying to spirits. Have you tried your, before you give counsel, have you tried your spirit? Do you know it's the spirit of God that's giving this, that is providing this counsel? I think we would be very wise to weigh any counsel that or comfort that we want to offer in the scale or on the scale of these questions. So God bless you, and uh, we're praying that this uh, lockdown, this shelter-at-home order ends soon. I don't know uh, exactly what's happened. I hope that you are praying for those in authority. Not too long ago, I saw uh, that uh, and was encouraged by the Christian Law Association that we ought to be praying for the judges all across the country right now. Judges are being uh, are uh, are being asked to consider the cases of churches. Uh, who um, are trying to open their doors and to uh, and reestablish uh, corporate worship, body worship. And um, I want to ask you to be praying for those who are in authority, as the Bible instructs us, and especially those judges right now. God bless you.